<clears throat> What's Morales Black Movie TV? You guys are coming on Broadway, Top Dog, Underdog. For each of you, had you seen any of the previous versions? And if not, is there something new that we're getting this time on stage? Um, I actually, I first came across it while I was in school and uh, two actors had done, um, you know, scenes from it for like the, sh the, the showcase. Um, mm -hmm. And that's, that's where I was hooked. And that was like my first year in school. And so I was curious and I went, uh, I think I went and watched it uh, years ago because you can see it and I guess they had it on tape. VH or whatever. Um, so uh, I remember going to see it and um, just being transfixed. Um, I remember reading it first and then going to see it and then reading it again, and reading it again and reading it again. And, um, and now we get the opportunity to sort of breathe new life into it. And, um, you know, this play just continues to move and shape. And, and, and I say like the cards, you know, it, it uh, it's still breathing, you know, it's still alive. It's still touching people in different ways. And so yeah, but that was my first experience with it, and and I haven't been able to get it out of my mind since. And so, <clears throat> when I heard about this, I'm like, yo, I gotta, how, how do I just be a part of this or touch this process in some way? Because it's special. It's really special. Yeah. And for myself, I had not seen, I, 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 I have not seen the uh, seen the play before. I was introduced to it about 15 years ago. I did about a uh, maybe like a 15 minute showcase of a, it was sort of a mashup scene. Uh, the, that someone was working on that needed uh, actors uh, actors for it, and I said, "Wow, who is this? And who wrote this? Because this this is exactly how I talk, and this you know they they feel like me, uh, and so that was really a gift for me, and um, and now I get to go and 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 share that part of myself on stage. I think people will be introduced to a to a, a character, a part of my personality and performance uh, that uh, I haven't shared on screen yet." Uh, uh, but I'm really excited to go and, you know, share those parts of myself and my world and my family and the people who I know, um, uh, who are all a part of who this character will be and, uh, the type of brotherhood and relationships that we'll see in this play. Each of you have done your share of films and TV <clears throat> and you've done theater, but you're coming back to Broadway and it's a whole different set of muscles. Mm -hmm. How have you prepared to bring back those muscles to be doing this? day in day out for a couple of days a couple of months yeah well for my for myself it's my first time on 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 broadway i haven't been on stage in about 7 years uh and you know it's it's, it's a it's different you know uh it's definitely an endurance game got to be sharp but also this it's this play requires that broadway requires that and it's 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 it's, it's an honor to be able to it's like i want to be fit for this role you know i, I want to do this role and this play and susan lloyd parks and corey and kenny uh and the broadway community the people who are going to come and see this play i want to do them justice and so it's easy to keep the late hours into you know to to make sure that my instrument is 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 is, is correct and and things like that uh and, and and honestly it'll only uh make the work more fulfilling and it'll only make the work more fulfilling on the other side when I go back to the back to the camera, back to the film. Um, so it's, it's, it's just a gift all around. How about you, Corey? You know, you've been on stage more recently than the I have. has. Uh, is it a new muscle or is it just, you know, riding a bike again? It wasn't that more, much more recent. I mean, I, maybe five or six years ago, I think, was the last time I did a show on Broadway. So, um, but I will say, you know, um, you know, when you think of it, this ain't, you know, Broadway isn't isn't the the vanity play. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I and what I mean when I say that is there's there's many other avenues you can go, you know, yeah. if that's what you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is this requires like y'all y'all said all of you, all of all of every part of you. And it it out outside of the rehearsal room, inside of the rehearsal room. Um it it, it, it but the beautiful thing is that I know that when I go in there, I can trust Kenny. I can trust Susan's words, SOP's words. And I know for sure, hundred percent, I can trust Yaya, you know? And that's the, that's the net that we rely on. Um, I've never done a two-hander. So that's different. That's another challenge. Um, but knowing that, you know, I'm working with a, a fellow trained, trained actor, Yale graduate, you know what I mean? And, and, 
to be able to to trust that process and to trust each other, man, is is uh it's it's a special thing. Um, so yeah. You mentioned Kenny and Susan, and they've done a number of projects separately but together. Have any one of you watched any of their projects to get an idea to what to expect from their direction and producing? Well, all you got to do uh, with SLP is read her, read her words, you know, um, and you know what's expected of you. <laughs> you know the task that you have to rise to. Um, I've seen Kenny's work before. Um, I've always wanted to work with him. And, you know, <laughs> being in the room, is it's a, it's a gift. It's a gift. That's, all, that's, his, that's what I could say, man. Yeah, same. I would say the same. All right. Good. Cool. Good to see you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Good to see you.